What's going on guys, it's how to experts 2 here today and we're showing you how you can get iMessage on a Windows PC. So this does involve a jailbroken phone, iPod, or iPad, or any iOS device that you could hook up iMessage to, and then you can uh, link it to your computer and actually have a online version of iMessage, which is, I think, really, really nice. So obviously you do need to have Cydia on your device if it is jailbroken. So what you're going to want to do is go to Cydia and then I'm just going to skip over this stuff because it loads for a little bit. Search for remote messages and as you can see remote messages iOS 7 it will it does cost I think it's it does cost $3.99 as you can see there. So uh, remote messages iOS 7 this is the free version because I have um, bite your apple so to get that source go to sources then oops sorry click edit add and then type in repo.biteyourapple.net that repo right there repo.biteyourapple.net and you will be able to um, get that version of remote messages for free so then you can just scroll down and click on remote messages and then click install as you can see I already have it installed so once you have that then you can just go back into your go into your settings one sec sorry it just lags for a second okay um and this is all on an iPhone 4 that is why it's kinda laggy I'm sorry about that uh, so you're in settings go down to remote messages and then the current IP you're gonna need to save that because you will be typing that into your browser later and the server port you also will need to save that um, the 333 that's just default I'm gonna blur out my current IP because I don't want you guys to see that but then down further admin and username and password those you can change I left mine the same just because I just didn't really feel like changing it. So that is what you're going to need to do on your phone. So let's go to the computer now. All right, so now that you do have your IP and port forward down on a piece of paper or just like in your notes somewhere, you will be able to, to connect to iMessage. You do hmm. have to enable um, remote messages. I did not show you how to do that, but it's the first thing in remote messages if you go to your settings. The very, very top thing is enable. So just click enable. And then once you have that enabled, type in your IP, which it will, which I am going to do right now. And then type in, do your IP colon, then, uh, so like mine, the default uh, port forward is 333. So then just hit enter. And then you can see remote messages kind of pop up. I saved my username and password so that you wouldn't have to type it in. But for you, you will have to type it in. So uh, this is going to be kind of weird for you. But then all your contacts should be over here. I will blank it out just for the security of the people on the side. Um, you will be able to turn on notifications. Like if you go in here, enter to send, I turn that on. Um, sounds, sound alerts, notifications, that's kind of cool. And then stuff like that. If it's blue, that's iMessage. If it's green, that's SMS. Uh, what I found out was usually your phone does have to be like somewhat on. I just kind of to like somewhat on to use it, I guess. It works best if it's on, but sometimes it doesn't really load your messages. Sometimes it does, but I think this is a really great tool to use if you like don't really respond on your phone but you're always on your computer so that is what I use it for um, I hope you guys did like this tutorial please share it because this is a really really cool thing to use and I think everyone should start using it um, so thank you guys so much for watching please stay tuned for more videos I will be active on this channel and uh, thank you guys for watching see you guys next time